Hey everybody, it's Jason from the Texas Gun Vault and today we're doing another firearms unboxing and we're going to be taking a look at a firearm that I have wanted for my personal collection for a very long time time and it's only because this gun in the united states has pretty much been unobtainium in fact when it comes to this particular model which you probably already know from the title of the video a glock 28 has actually been more rare than the full auto glock 18s there were so few of these in the country they were pretty much unicorn guns the reason i wanted one was because they were so hard to get not that they're somehow special around the world they're actually Actually pretty common. Essentially this is a subcompact Glock like a Glock 26 or Glock 27 but it is chambered in 380. I only knew about these because I realized there was a gap in the Glock numbering system. I was like well where's the Glock 25, the Glock 28? And then I discovered you couldn't import these into the US because of the caliber and the size. The ATF would not allow Glock to import them. But now Glock has made a limited run of the Glock 28. And that's what I have right here. And I guess this was in collaboration with Lipsy's. And I just wanted to talk about it because this gun for so long was so rare and I think there were a few misconceptions about it. So let's go ahead and open this box here. There's not much really special to talk about. It's pretty much just your standard Glock plastic box. You got your pistol and extra magazine. You have a lock and all the paperwork. So there's nothing really special in here. I guess you also have the cleaning brush as well. Let's just take the gun out of the box here and talk about it real fast. The first thing you may notice about this is even though this is a 2023 production pistol, it is a Generation 3. And as far as I know, all of the Glock 28s were Generation 3s or the ones made in Austria. And so these, as I mentioned, are really popular in countries like Mexico and I want to say in Brazil where they have laws pertaining to the ownership of guns that are in calibers that the military uses. So you can't own a gun like in 9mm or 45 because the military uses those calibers. But they don't use 380 and that was the main market for these there were a few that were imported for law enforcement agents here in the u.s and then after they were done or maybe they didn't want to buy them or procure them they were allowed to be sold on the civilian market so there were a few out there floating around but as i said they were super super rare even rarer than a full auto glock 18. So one thing that I noticed when I would watch videos online, besides not being able to understand them because they were usually produced in languages that I don't speak, because once again, these guns were sold in countries where they couldn't own nine millimeter and most of them spoke Spanish or Portuguese, I always noticed that they resembled the Glock 26 so much in its operating mechanism. However, the documents I saw online, everybody said this used some type of modified direct blowback. And when I saw people field strip these, I'm like, that looks like it's a Browning tilting barrel just like a Glock 26. And now that I have an example in front of me, it really is a Browning tilting barrel design. In fact, I'll show you right here. I'll go ahead and drop the magazine and sure there's nothing in there. You can also see on the magazines here, they're the same size from the side as a Glock 26, but because the cartridge is two millimeters shorter, they have to fill in the gap and they've kind of skeletonized or put in this little ladder system. So this is the same frame as a Glock 26 or 27, but that's how they put the 380 in the magazine. Of course, let's pull the slide back and let's ensure there's no ammunition in there. It looks like we're good. Let's field strip it like a standard Glock. If you notice, the frame is exactly the same as a Glock 26. It has a dual recoil spring. That's kind of interesting for just a little 380. And then when we pull the barrel out, you'll notice it comes out just like a Glock 26, except it has this little ledge here. And that's probably because the cartridge is shorter. It has to have a different dwell time before it unlocks. But that's it. It comes apart exactly the same. This is not direct blowback. It is a typical action like you would normally see in a Glock. All right, I have a little trouble there getting that spring back in there. There we go. And let's go ahead and put this back together. As you can see, it comes apart 
and it's put back together like your typical Glock. That's it. So the Glock 28, this one's made in the USA. It's supposed to be made to the same specifications as the ones made in Austria. The gun has been unobtainium, so hopefully they're going to make the Glock 25, which is about a Glock 19 sized, but also chambered in 380. So a lot of people are going to say they're not interested in this because of the caliber. I totally get it, but as a Glock, I guess we'll say fanboy and collector, you just got to have one because they were just unobtainium. They were impossible to get and it's so cool to have one now so i guess this was going to be one of my collector glocks i know that's kind of weird to some people but yep it's a collector glock so what do you guys think do you want a glock 28 i don't know how many they're actually making but i do know this is a limited run so let me know what you think in the comment section below and as always thanks for watching